What's good, y'all, man? It's your boy, Sniper Kicks. And, man, these were... These right here. Oh, my God. Dope. I got one more right here. These unions are bananas, man. They're bananas. Three of them. Uh, I'm going to keep one for myself. I'm going to do something for you guys. Just stay tuned to the rest of my videos. I don't know when I'm going to tell y'all, but when I do, you know, it's going down. But, man, I want to catch up with y'all, man. I get a lot of messages like, man, Sniper Kicks when I drop my last video. Glad to see you back, man. We've been waiting on different videos. Uh, man, Sniper Kicks, when you're doing this, when you're doing that. So, guys, man, I'm going to be back at it. More consistent content, you know, giving you guys tips and all that stuff on how to get shoes, how to sell shoes and all, all of that. But today's video is going to be about some problems that I had the last couple of weeks with reselling. So you guys know me. I sell a lot of shoes. I sell a lot of shoes. And, you know, sometimes when you sell a large amount of shoes, man, sometimes you can't fulfill those orders. Sometimes, you know, I take on so many pre-orders that is like, man, it's like, for instance, this shoe right here gave me so much headaches. This shoe right here. Hey! You hear my son in the background, he's talking. But these foams right here, these foams gave me so much problems, man. I was expecting to go to the mall, like, no lie. I was expecting to go to the mall and be like, hey, let me get, you know, all your foams. Or, hey, let me get three from this mall. Three from this mall, three from this mall. Because every store, every Foot Locker in Chicago got these home posits. So I go to the mall and the mall is packed. I go to North Riverside Mall and there's, I'm not lying, a hundred people trying to get these phones. And I'm talking like, man, when did people love phone posits again? I thought that way was over with. But, you know, people were flocking to over the phone posits. And I'm like, oh my God, this is crazy. So I took on so many orders and I'm like, Man, okay, let me get one pair of hair and let me, you know, go to the next spot. I try to get other pairs. They all sold out. They all sold out. So I go to the next mall. You know, I go and pick up a couple pairs. They're like, hey, we're sold out. We're sold out. So I was like, oh, my God. I cannot believe that, you know, this shoe right here was giving me the most problems. I took a lot of orders on these. You know, the day I released, people were, you know, going on my website, you know, placing orders. And I couldn't get any pairs. So yeah, guys, was, with that foams, I was like, what? You can't be serious. So, you know, I go to every, when I say almost like every mall in Chicago land area, and I ended up getting some pairs. But guess what? I couldn't get the sizes that I need. Um, I, I was just, you know, every place was sold out. Online, they were sold out. So what I'm saying is, I'm telling this story because like when you sell in a large amount of quantities, there's gonna be a lot of times where you can't get those shoes. And I'm saying, you know, if you're a reseller, you know, if you want to grow to that, you know, to that, to those heights, you need to create re relationships for real. You must create relationships because with these phone posits, you know, these right here, bro, if I didn't have people that, you know, looked out for me in relationships, there's no way I was able to get my, get these phones. Like my man Dre from God in Carts, bro, this man has helped me out so much, bro. And I'm going to tell you another story. These right here. I'm gonna put footage of this, of, of these, uh, me picking up these shoes right here. What the heck? I got three pairs from here and they're closed. Man, these PSGs, the mall that I was supposed to get all my grade school pairs from was closed down because of quarantine. Of course it was North Riverside again. So guys, your customers don't care. <laughs> they don't care that the store is closed. They want their shoes. So um, yeah, so you know, quarantine, you know, they had a quarantine, they had a coronavirus case, so they their store was closed for and now I had to find somebody to give me those shoes. So my man got them cars, Dre. He's helping so me. you know, Dre even got a car, he got me my grade school sizes, and also man, also got my sister down in Denver. The thing about me being in the Chicago land area is you know, a lot of there's this the, the market's almost saturated here. Everybody wants to be a reseller, everybody wants to get shoes. So sometimes, you know. I might take a, you know, rarely like on these PSGs right here. I took a lot of L's on the Flex app on these. So um, some orders, I just didn't have the shoes. So I had to, you know, call some people out. You know, Dre put his slots on, size 11, got me that slot, those sizes. Called out my sister down in Denver. Hey, go to your mall, see if they got these. 
you know, call my brother in DC. Hey, go to your mall, see you got these. So guys, you need to create relationship with people that, you know, know about shoes or other resellers so they can help you out. Because when you're selling 40 pairs of shoes, 50 pairs of shoes, 60 pairs of shoes, 100 pairs of shoes, there's going to be times where you can't get them all. So you need to count on people that can help you. And, you know, I have, you know, people that have been helping me and, you know, Dre, he's been huge, man. His slots, he just hit me on another size 12 of these foams because, man, I've been, man, they, they, they were something else in Chicago, man. People were, you know, lining up, you know, thirsty for them and everything, man. I went to at least like 10 different foot lockers, man. I ended up getting a decent amount, but I didn't get the sizes that I need. So you need to, you know, look, you need to create relationship with people that also do what you do or also know about shoes because they can look out for you. Because, you know, for me, with the PSGs and the foams, those things were, you know, those things were, were it was a terrible because there's, there's, there's more, there was more than 10 sizes that I, 10, 10 pairs of shoes that I need that I didn't have. So, you know, you got to create those relationships with people. And so, guys, yeah, guys, what you guys can do is, you know, you can use my tips on the Flex app, you know go into multiple first come first, first serve, knowing your area. Um, and that can prevent that happening. So so that doesn't happen to me a lot, me not being able to get the shoes that I need for pre-orders. But, you know, it happens sometimes. And you have to be able to maneuver and, you know, make it happen. Because at the end of the day, your customers are always, 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 always wanting good customer service. They don't want to wait two weeks for the shoes. They don't want to hear the stores closed down. They don't want to hear, you know, these things. They want their shoes in about two or three days. They want their tracking information. Or if they're if, if they're local, you know, they want their shoes, you know, they are released two days after release. They don't want to wait forever because they give you their money to get their shoe. So, you know, a tip for all the resellers out here that is really wanting to sell, guys, make sure your customer service is good. Guys, make sure you create relationships because just in case you have pre-orders that you can't, you know, you, you can't fulfill, you have people that can look out for you. you got someone like Dre on my part that can look out for me, my sister down in Never, my brother down in D.C. So you need to create relationships with people or have a team that's able to get those, you know, get those shoes for you. Also, guys, if you're doing pre-orders, I see this so much in Chicago, man. If you're doing pre-orders and you can't get the shoe and you just give your, your, your client or your, you know, whoever that's buying for you their money back, Guys, that's not how you build a sneaker business, guys. I see so many people, you know, do a pre-order, get their shoe, um, get get the shoe. The price goes up. Oh, man, I got to give them their money back. Or, or for instance, like, hey, I can't get the shoe to give them their money back. Guys, you need to be prepared. That's why I'm making this video. You need to be prepared to find people. Find people, you know, go to the mall, chop it up with people. You never know who you can connect with. Guys, that's why it's so key for relationships. It's so cute for relationships. So number one, pre-orders. Because I've been getting millions of questions about pre-orders. I'm going to make another video about how to set the price for pre-orders, how to pre-order, how to get people to do pre-orders. But if you're doing pre-orders, you know, you need to be able to deliver that shoe. Because if you don't, your business can only go so far. Because your customer service is not there. But uh, guys, more videos are coming out. I wanted to touch upon this real quick. Because the last two releases, PSG and uh, the foams were headaches for me. But luckily, I have the people behind my back that was able to help out for me and, you know, get these shoes for me. Because, you know, at the end of the day, I'm selling a lot of a lot of shoes, a large quantity amount of shoes. So you need to be able to maneuver and make those right for your customers so they can purchase from you again. You always want the repeat customers. So, guys, preach y'all, man. It's not for case. We want to put out consistent content. I know my subscribers want consistent content, so I want to make that for you. All right, y'all. Peace out.